Welcome back to Test Tuesday. I know it's a Wednesday. Don't know what's going on there. Excuse the state of the workshop. I'm in the middle of a little furniture repair job at the minute and I've just got stuff everywhere. Anyway, today we're going to test how strong oak is in terms of screw pullout strength. When we did last week's Test Tuesday, I got a really good comment from Debon H saying, my dad was a carpenter and joiner. If I remember correctly, he used to say that a number eight wood screw in an oak beam, just one and a half turns would support his weight. I've heard similar things in the past and later on in this video, we're gonna find out if your dad was right. And last time we had a look at MDF and managed to get some amazingly high loads on a single screw in the face grain of MDF. But I thought today, let's push the boat out a bit and try some gorgeous American white oak and see how strong that is. So just to keep things vaguely consistent, I'm gonna use kind of the same screws as last time. We've got a five by 40 silver screw, a uh, four by 30 turbo gold, that's a kind of aggressive thread self-drilling type. And we've got the tiny little four by 16 silver screw. They're all single thread wood screws. Basically that one and that one are the same design. It's just that's a smaller one. Obviously, I didn't need to tell you that. We've got the turbo gold, which has the self-drilling tip and the rifle shank and all that sort of thing. So actually, here we go, just for a bit of fun, don't cheat and skip ahead in the video. The last test that we're gonna do is gonna be of the tiny little four by 16 millimeter screw. How much load, how much axial force do you think we can get on this teeny weeny little screw into American white oak. Bearing in mind, average kind of bloke weighs about 80 kilos. My test rig can only handle up to 300 kilos. 250 would be quarter of a metric ton. So I'm assuming it's not gonna go past 250 kilos on a tiny little screw like that. Get your guesses in now, pop it in the comments below what you think the four by 16 will handle in terms of load. And then we'll find out later on if you're right. Just to keep things consistent, I'm not gonna use a pilot hole and I will chat about that later on. So I don't particularly recommend using a five by 40 screw into a hardwood without a pilot hole, but bear with me on that one. Get in there. So same as before, this is a full thread screw strength test. So we're ignoring the fact that it's pulling out the back of the board. That doesn't matter. We're just looking for where the failure point is in terms of the load that a single screw can take. I explained that a little bit more last week. I'm not gonna go into it again today. Impact driver job for getting this in. I can barely turn the screw at all by hand. The MDF got 195 kilos which is more than two of me. Let's see how we do in the American white oak. Okay, I've got a sneaky feeling what's gonna happen here, but let's just go for it. We are at well past my body weight. You can see how straight the line is in terms of the loading. Normally you would expect that to kind of curve off a little bit. Look at that, 203.11, not budging. Ah, so screw's gone. 270 kilos, I've got goggles on for a reason, and the screw's snapped. My rig can only handle 300, and to be honest, it was already starting to feel a bit like, like everything was about to die. I think we can safely say, I reckon that would have gone well past 300 kilos. There's, I'm using a hardened carbon steel screw at the minute and um, I haven't got much harder material than that to use. So 270 kilos, not bad for a first attempt. Let's go for a smaller screw, see what we can get the failure point at. It's 
same as before. Again, I've tried to go into a bit of the oak that doesn't have any knots or it's just a really kind of, well, that bit of the oak looks about the same as that bit of the oak. I take up the slack. What I do, by the way, for taking up the slack, I literally pull it upwards until it's just making contact. And I tighten the little nut on the top until I can just feel it gripping and no more. So it's amazing how much force you can put on just with your fingers without even using a wrench. Vaguely mentioned it before, ignore the little peaks and troughs at the beginning because that's just where it's recalibrating itself. Let's go for it. Hundred and twenty kilos so far. Oh, what's that noise? Oh dear, what's going on? <gasps> My test rig's breaking. Uh oh, uh oh. Emergency. Oh no. The base plate of my, my test rig, because I haven't got any support there. Because I'm just on the edge of the oak. Are you right, sweetie? Do you need us? Um, yeah. I'll be back in a minute. I did like you videoing. Me little girl needed some help with something all sorted. And my test rig needed some help. I've put an extra little bit of support under this far edge. It's just because I'm kind of off the edge of the board. But uh, yeah, it started to break the MDF on the bottom of my test rig. By the way, the oak I'm using, it's 20 mil American white oak. So two mil thicker than the MDF technically, but let's go for it again. I'm trying not to break the rig this time. It's breaking my test rig. It's because I'm too far off the edge. God damn it. Keep going. Screw hasn't broke yet. 300's the limit for me rig. Well, So there's 277 kilos of tension in that chain at the minute. We've got to a peak of 303.94. And to be honest, we're really at the limit of what my rig can handle here. We're well past quarter of a ton. And that's just on the 4x30 screw. I'm going to release it because I'm frightened it's going to explode in my face. Uh. Wait till you see what it's done to the bracket. You can see on the graph, even at the 270 kilos, yeah, it was dropping a little bit, but not very much. And that's more because the, uh, <laughs> the bracket is ripping itself to shreds. Let me show you the poor bracket and get this to bits. So the screw hasn't budged at all but the, it's nearly pulling itself out the, the bottom of the bracket. I don't know if you can see that but that was about to just explode out. I think I'm gonna have to use a new bracket. Let's see if I can actually get this out. Oh my word. Snap the screw. To be fair, it did have 300 kilos on it, so it's not done bad. <laughs> Let's try the little screw. So again, I'm trying to go into a bit of the oak that doesn't have any knots or anything. So we're gonna go here. So four by 16, 16 millimeter screw. Once you take into account the thickness of the bracket and the tapered end on the thread, there's probably only, well, barely half of the thickness of the oak gonna be actually screwed into, but... Let's tighten it by hand. Right, teeny little 4x16 screw. In the MDF, the best we've ever got out of MDF was about the 100 kilo mark. Let's see how we get on in the oak. So that's us sitting more or less steady around what had failed at with the MDF. No sign of movement. Let's see what happens next. Killing the bracket. Broke the bracket, not the oak. Need a new bracket. God. 
damn it, have you ever, you ever seen that happen to uh, one of those little L brackets before? 4x16 screw in American white oak. We'll try that again. We'll try not to break the bracket this time. Tiny little 4x16 screws, teeny. Oh, the bracket's gonna go again. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> 277 kilos. So past a quarter of a ton mark on one tiny screw. There you go. Not a lot to write home about really, but it's just ripped itself out the, uh, out the oak. The screw's fine. As I say, I thought the bracket was about to fail again, but let me just get this out the room. So it was that hole there. If you can see how it's kind of ripped itself out. Again, bracket is pretty much destroyed. Nothing wrong with the screw. Screw held up absolutely fine. I could reuse that screw a thousand times without a problem. 277 kilos on that screw. And I think that'll give you a gauge of what the big screw in American White Oak would be capable of handling. Really, in this situation, the screw is probably gonna break before you run out of strength in the wood. Let's have a look at some graphs. So we'll look at the only test that we did where we actually managed to get a failure, which was uh, four by 16, the tiny little screw that got, remember 235 kilos and the bracket broke. And then when we ran the test again, we got 277 kilograms on the tiny little four by 16 screw, that's 610 pounds. The big 5x40 screw, that was the first test that we did. It snapped the supporting screw at 270 kilos. There was no real point in doing this one again because it's gonna go way, way off the scale. It's gonna be a load that my test rig just cannot handle. Either way, 270 kilos before the screw snapped on the 5x40. And then on the 4x30 Turbo Gold, the first time we did the test, it broke my test rig. The second time we hit the limit of what my test rig can handle, the screw didn't fail, we got past 300 kilos. Not bad going. And then just to compare those results with how the screws did in MDF, and I'm not having a bash at MDF here because <laughs> we got 195 kilos with a 5x40 screw in MDF and 103, that's still more than my body weight with the 4x16 screw that we, we managed to get. But we'll compare that to the oak crazily high results remember the silver screw the 4x16 that was the only one where we actually got a failure and that was at 277 kilos over a quarter of a metric ton and then for both the 4x30 turbo gold and the silver screw the 5x40 silver screw both of them basically hit the limit of what my test rig can handle and did not fail I am left with a whole bunch of broken screws and broken brackets and it nearly destroyed my test rig. Damn you, Oak. I didn't know we'd get 277 kilos on a tiny little screw like that. That is incredible. That is like taking three and a half of me and suspending it from a single tiny screw. Now, quite a few of you mentioned in the comments, what about having a pilot hole in the wood and what difference does it make, etc., etc and I am gonna be testing that very soon. So watch this space, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed. I would like to know from you, what sort of pilot hole screw test would you like to see? What size screw, what type of material, and what thickness of material? I'm not guaranteeing I'll pay any attention because I'll probably just do it in 18 mil MR MDF. But we'll see what comes out in the comments. But as I say, for this test, I wanted to keep it consistent. 
I didn't do a pilot hole on the MDF tests. I thought it's not fair if I do pilot holes on these tests. And a couple of people mentioned by using an impact driver to put the screw in, does that make the joint weaker? Don't know, watch this space. Generally what I do is I get it almost tight and then I do the last little bit by hand. But you could argue that the vibration of the impact driver driving the screw in could make the joint weaker. Don't know, I would imagine it probably doesn't make that much difference. But I shall run another Test Tuesday on impact driver versus no impact driver at some point. Before we wrap things up, of course, we've got one more test we need to run, and that is to find out whether or not a number eight wood screw into solid oak with one and a half turns of the screw, whether or not that can support the weight of an adult, or me anyway. So trying to screw a number eight screw into solid oak without a pilot hole is gonna be like nigh on impossible. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to pilot this. It's only a two mil pilot, so it's only a little pilot hole, but it'll just help it get started. And what I've done, I've put a little mark on the screw so that I know how many turns it's had. So I'm gonna start off with the mark facing the camera like that. See if we can actually get this threaded in. So that's one. And that's a half. It's pointing around this side. So I'm just going to take that out now that the wood's threaded. I'm going to pop the bracket on. So that's one and a half. So if you don't believe me, let me just show you. There's a little mark around the other side. So that's exactly one and a half turns of a number eight wood screw into solid oak. Let's see how it does. There you go, Devon H. Great question, 163 kilos. So technically that's two fully grown adults on a single number eight wood screw with one and a half turns into solid oak. Thanks for watching, see you next time.